The organizer of a Sky Lantern Festival at Santo Sur that failed to deliver on its main event did not adhere to stipulated fire safety guidelines, leading the authorities to instruct that candles not be used. This happened even though the Singapore Civil Defence Force SCDF reiterated the need for the organizer to adhere to fire safety guidelines on multiple occasions leading up to the event. The much publicized festival, held at Palawan Green on Wednesday, February 21, cost 50 Singapore dollars per person, excluding booking fees. Participants had been sold on the promise of a photogenic lantern light up with burning candles. These lanterns were meant to float in the sky for 5 to 10 minutes while being tethered to the ground via 60m long strings. However, many ticket holders were left disappointed and angry when they arrived to find that unforeseen circumstances had changed these plans. With attendees offered LED candles instead. They were also provided with pens to write their wishes on the lanterns before tying them to the barricades. In response to CNA queries, an SCDF spokesperson said late on Thursday that sky lanterns must be tethered at all times when lit. Safety marshals must be on site to supervise the event and in particular, prevent the lanterns from being released if they are not tethered. The safety marshals must also be equipped with fire extinguishers. For this event, SCDF said it informed the organizer of the fire safety guidelines on October 31st, reiterating these requirements on multiple occasions leading up to the event. The event organizer then conducted a trial on February 19th. This was unsatisfactory as one of the lighted lanterns caused a small fire on the artificial turf, said the SCDF spokesperson. After the event was fully set up on Wednesday, SCDF conducted a site inspection and found that the organizer had failed to adhere to the guidelines. They did not provide proper tethers for the sky lanterns, nor fire extinguishers or safety marshals, the spokesperson said. Therefore, in the interest of public and aviation safety, SCDF informed the event organizer that they should not use the sky lanterns for the event. The event organizer eventually used LED lights for the lanterns. A spokesperson from Sentosa Development Corporation SDC said that the event was organized by a third party, Asian Kuto Boutique, which rented the venue. As the event organizer was unable to obtain the necessary licenses and clearance to meet safety requirements mandated by local authorities such as Singapore Civil Defence Force, the event could only continue with music entertainment. Director of Airspace Policy at the Civil Authority of Singapore CAS, Jean Yi, told CNA that the release of tethered sky lanterns during the festival did not require a CAS permit. This was because the festival had planned for the release to take place outside of military operating hours and restricted areas and at a height no higher than 60 m. The release of untethered sky lanterns is not allowed in Singapore. As it is a safety risk to aircraft, Ms. Yi added. Santosa Development Corporation said it was informed by both SCDF and the event organizer of a delay to the start of the event on Wednesday afternoon. We took immediate action to ensure that guests were informed of the situation through signages at key locations from Sentosa Express Beach Station to the site at Palawan Green. Live updates were also provided by the organizer at Event Ground, said the spokesperson. SDC apologized for any inconvenience caused to guests. It also directed ticket holders to contact the event organizer for refunds, Stephen Lau at 9455-5212 and Shirmi Bautista at Shirmi85 at gmail.com and 84248725. Ms. Bautista told CNA that during a site inspection of the venue on Wednesday, SCDF noticed an inadequate supply of fire extinguishers for such a big crowd. We were advised to reschedule the segment 
to release the tethered lanterns to another day instead. She said, adding that existing tickets are still valid for the rescheduled event. When asked when the rescheduled event would take place, she said that it depended on venue availability and that it might be around the first week of April if it were to take place in Sentosa. Miss Bautista is behind a similar lantern event that was supposed to have taken place on Valentine's Day last year in Dubai's Kudra Desert. But instead of tethers, the lanterns were to be released. She promoted the event on her personal Facebook page in November 2022. However, the event was later postponed until further notice. The Dubai Sky Lantern Festival 2023 said in a Facebook announcement that the postponement was due to issues with the Aviation Authority and that refunds would be provided. Ms. Bautista told CNA on Thursday the rescheduled Dubai event will be held on April 9. The Sentosa event, scheduled to run from 3 p.m. to midnight, was meant to begin with a music festival before the lantern release at 7. 30 p.m., however, as participants arrive at the venue, a notice read, due to unforeseen circumstances, please note that the Singapore Sky Lantern Festival has been delayed. Responding to queries from CNA A spokesperson from event organizer Asian Couture and Boutique said the Sky Lanterns could not be released as they wanted to prioritize the safety of attendees. We are unable to release the Sky Lanterns with fire at the event. The spokesperson said, without elaborating on the nature of the safety concerns. He said that pens and LED candles were provided so that attendees could still participate in the tradition of writing wishes on the lanterns. Regarding those seeking refunds, the spokesperson said earlier on Thursday that discussions were ongoing and that an update would be provided within the next two weeks. Angry participants left complaints on the event's Facebook page about the abrupt cancellation of the light-up. Instead you let people queue for hours without knowing what's going on just to collect $50 lantern for a souvenir as they are not able to light it anywhere in Singapore, one Facebook user said. A participant who did not want to be named told CNA that staff on the ground said, all I can say is we don't have a permit to light up the lantern. TikTok user Sherilyn80 said that many participants in the queue were unaware of the change as only a small sign was put up. She added that she was told a refund would not be given if people chose to collect the lantern and the LED light. Got lantern, but no light up, an event employee told TikTok user on Rice Place when asked when the lanterns would be going up. She also noted that the promised food stalls appeared to be non-existent and compared the event to Fire Festival. Fire Festival, built as a luxury event, was supposed to take place over two weekends in the Bahamas in 2017. Customers arrived to learn musical acts were cancelled, with their accommodation and food they were promised falling far short of expectations.